Who is the restrainer? An informed hypothesis by Dr. Galen Curran. Before Jesus will return, the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God, or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. And you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it, will do so until he is out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed. In his second epistle to Christians in Thessalonica, Paul wrote about an evil world leader who was to appear. Who and what are they that restrain the man of lawlessness, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself? In reply to this query, I posit the following presuppositions. The Apostle Paul drew insights from Jesus, from the prophets, and from his own call to evangelize Gentiles. The New Testament of the Holy Bible often quotes from the Greek version of the Jewish scriptures, which is called the Septuagint. The Hebrew prophets had predicted that many Gentiles, in the end time, would come to believe in the biblical God, Yahweh. The early Christians taught that an evil world leader would arise in the end time, whom they called the Antichrist, or the men of sin. Let us now look at several lines of evidence. Jesus First, Jesus predicted his message would go to Gentile nations. This gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Jesus himself predicted a falling away. Many will come lead many astray. Many will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. The love of many will grow cold. See that you are not led astray. Jesus also predicted an evil leader. You will see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel, standing in the holy place. False Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Jesus further predicted his return. All the tribes of the earth will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Jesus promised to gather his followers. The Son of Man will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect. Stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to stand before the Son of Man. The Prophets the prophets foresaw a mission to Gentile nations. In 2 Thessalonians 2 1, Paul employed the very word, episunagoge, for our gathering unto the Lord, that Jeremiah had used. Jeremiah had foreseen a time that God gather his people again together, and receive them unto mercy. The glory of the Lord will be seen, and so will the cloud. Paul quoted several verses from the Greek version of Isaiah chapter 66, borrowing 19 Greek words when writing 2 Thessalonians. 
Isaiah foretold God's words, I am going to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come, and see my glory. They shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. Paul's Missionary Call Ananias who baptized Paul revealed to him, The God of our fathers appointed you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear a voice from his mouth, for you will be a witness for him to every one of what you have seen and heard. Paul later related, When I had returned to Jerusalem and was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance and saw Jesus saying to me, Make haste and get out of Jerusalem. Go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Deductions Paul learned from the prophets that there would be a great turning of Gentiles to faith in Israel's God before the end time. Paul knew from the teaching of Jesus that the good news would have to go to all Gentile nations before the Lord would return. Paul often recalled that he himself was an apostle whom the Lord had sent on mission to the Gentiles. Paul was aware that the end-time Antichrist could not appear until after the Gentile mission were completed. Conclusion The thing that restrained the appearance of the Antichrist was the incomplete Gentile mission. The one who restrains the appearance of the Antichrist is the Lord Jesus himself. So let us do all that the Lord Jesus will allow us to carry his good news to every nation and ethnic community.